Hello mga bata! Welcome na naman po sa isang episode ng Edok Serye! Last time, pinag-usapan natin ang standard table of weights and measure. Medyo gumamit tayo ng mat doon, kaya alam kong marami sa inyo ang na-challenge. Ngunit, alam ko rin naman na marami sa inyo ang natuto kung paano nga po ba tayo nagko-convert sa ating bread and pastry. Ngayon naman po, conversion pa rin po ang ating topic. Ang pag-uusapan natin ay conversion or substitution of weights and measure. Handa na ba kayo? Tara, simulan na natin! Okay, so once again, our topic for today is the conversion or substitution of weights and measure. Ito po ay ang ating lesson 4.1 sa module number 3. Okay? Our objectives for this lesson is number 1 is to identify baking ingredients and its substitution. Number 2 is to perform accurate conversion and substitution of weights and measure of ingredients for a certain product. And number 3 is to convert measurement using the basic mathematical operation. Okay, so bago tayo magpatuloy, ang inyo pong mga gagawin para sa module 1 ay ang mga sumusunod. Ang pre-test A and B, yan po ay sasagutan nyo sa module. Yung let's review po ay sasagutan nyo rin po sa module. Ang activity 1 ay sasagutan nyo rin po sa module. Ang activity 2 ay sasagutan nyo sa notebook and you must show your solution. Okay? Na, uh, next, let's take the challenge Sa notebook po nyo yan sasagutan And take note, it is copy and answer Last po natin ay ang post test 1 and 2 Ang sagot po ay isusulat sa inyong module At ang solution naman po ay nasa notebook Okay, so tandaan yan ha Okay, so let's now begin Introduction Who among you experiences baking but certain you run out of some ingredients. Sometimes it is inconvenient to go out to get the required ingredient. It is easier to use or substitute other ingredients as a replacement. However, several factors to, to contemplate when, uh, when substituting ingredients take into consideration the difference in flavor, moisture, texture, and weight. So, it is a decent idea before substituting to grasp the role that ingredients play within the recipe. The subsequent table gives substitutes that will be accustomed to get a finished product almost like the initial. Okay, ano po bang ibig sabihin nito, no? There are times na kapag kinapos po tayo ng mga ingredients, no? Pwede po tayo magkaroon ng mga substitution. Kung ito rin po ay available sa ating uh, supply. Okay? So, hindi ko mo, pag sinabing 1 cup of flour, tapos isa-substitute nyo siya ng isang ingredient, it is equivalent also to 1 cup. No? So, ito po ay may pagkakaiba when it comes to flavor, to its texture, moisture, etc. No? So, ito pong mga table na to, ang ilan sa mga uh, pwede nyong isubstitute, Kung kayo man po ay kapusin ng inyong mga ingredients or kung ito man ay hindi available sa inyong supply. Okay? Ano-ano nga po ba yun? Okay, so we now have the conversion or, and, uh, sub, or substitution of weights and measure. So we have the amounts, ingredient, and its substitute. Okay? For example, sa amount natin, we have 1 tablespoon or of all-purpose flour, tin Tandaan nyo po, ito po yung tinatawag rin natin na APF. So, ang substitute po niyan is 1 half tablespoon cornstarch, potato starch, rice starch, or arrowroot starch. So, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi po siya uh, pantay ng amount. Okay? Dahil meron pong pagkakaiba yan sa kanyang uh, texture, sa kanyang moisture, sa kanyang flavor. Okay? So, kaya... Dapat, alam din natin tong table of conversion na to, okay? Next, you have 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. So, it is equivalent to 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. 1 cup of sifted cake flour is equivalent to 7 eighths all-purpose flour sifted. 1 cup all-purpose flour minus 2 tablespoons. 1 cup of sugar granulated is equivalent to 1 and 1 third cup brown sugar, lightly packed, 
1 and 1 half cup corn syrup minus 1 half cup liquid, 1 cup of honey minus 1 half to 1 third cup liquid. 1 cup of honey is equivalent to 1 and 1 fourth cup sugar plus 1 half cup liquid. 1 ounce of chocolate is equivalent to 3 tablespoon of cocoa plus 1 tablespoon fat. 1 tablespoon baking powder is equivalent to 1 4 teaspoon baking soda plus 1 half cup fully uh, soured milk or uh, lemon juice mixed with sweet milk to make 1 half cup. 1 4 teaspoon uh, baking soda plus 1 4 to 1 half cup uh, molas molasses and uh, 1 4 cream of tartar. 1 teaspoon is equivalent uh, 1 teaspoon of uh, active dry yeast is equivalent to 1 pack or 7 grams dry yeast compressed yeast cake 1 whole egg is equivalent to 2 egg yolks or 3 tablespoon thawed from uh, frozen eggs 2 and 1 half tablespoon sifted dry whole eggs powder plus uh, 2 and 1 half tablespoons lukewarm water 1 egg yolk is equivalent to 1 and 1 third tablespoon frozen egg yolk. 1 egg white is equivalent to 2 tablespoon frozen egg white, 2 teaspoon dry egg yolk powder, plus 2 tablespoons of water. 1 square unsweetened chocolate is equivalent to 3 tablespoon cocoa plus 1 tablespoon fat. This is the last. 1 cup of butter is equivalent to 1 cup of margarine, 7 8 to 1 cup of hydrogenated fat plus 1 half teaspoon of fat, 7 8 cup of lard plus 1 half teaspoon of salt. 1 cup of uh, coffee cream, 20% uh, is equivalent to 3 tablespoon butter plus about 7 8 cup milk. 1 cup of heavy cream, 40% is equivalent to 1 fourth cup butter plus 3 fourth cup of milk. 1 cup of milk is equivalent to 3 tablespoon of sifted non-fat dry milk plus 1 cup water. And uh, 6 tablespoon of sifted crystals plus 1 cup of water. 1 cup buttermilk or salt milk is equivalent to 1 tablespoon of vinegar of, or lemon juice plus enough sweet milk to make one cup. Let's stand for five minutes. One, four, uh, one and three four teaspoon of cream of tartar plus one cup of sweet milk. Okay? So, paano nga po ba siya ginagawa? For example, we have here a problem. No? Sabi dito, Marvin substituted a cup of butter with one cup of margarine. His recipe needed one and one fourth cup of butter. Now the question is, how many cups of margarine does this recipe needs? So kanina ang sabi natin that uh, one cup of butter is equivalent to one cup of margarine. Since ang kailangan niya po sa kanyang recipe is one and one fourth cup of butter, and margarine lang ang kanyang uh, available doon sa kanyang supply. So, ang equivalent po nun is also 1 and 1 fourth cup of margarine. Okay? Since parehas po sila ng value. Maliwanag? Another example. 1 tablespoon of APF or all-purpose flour with 1 half tablespoon cornstarch. If your recipe needs 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, how many tablespoons of uh, cornstarch will you use? So, ang sabi natin, no, ang 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour is equivalent to 1 half tablespoon of cornstarch. Then, therefore, if we need 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, dodoblihin lang po natin siya. No? So, it, ang kailangan po natin is 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay? Nakakasunod po ba? Okay. So, ang next topic po natin, tuturuan ko na kayo kung paano gumamit ng oven 
Ito po ay dinownload ko lang sa YouTube. And also, ang uh, topic rin po natin next is how to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, vice versa, or Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay po ba sa atin yun? Okay. Marami na naman po ba tayong natutunan? Maraming marami po, sir. Wow, very good naman po pala. So, muli po, ako sa Sir Drew. Always at your service. Paalam!